So Africa in Art is not uh, an event, it's a, a series of events and a series of initiatives that uh, happen all throughout the year and on multiple channels. So we started in 2017 with a relatively basic concept, the Africa in Art Summit, where the idea was really to be a marketplace, a platform to connect um, entrepreneurs from all over the continent with founders, for invest, for, with investors for um, capital and with corporates for market access. Um, in 2018, we've added the Africa in Art Tour, which was really an extension to go and find and scout through the continent to find the best startups uh, on the top tech hubs of the continent so that we could bring them back in Cape Town at the end of the year for them to meet with uh, the entire investment and corporate ecosystem. In 2019, we've added more side events to the concept, so we created the Founders Bootcamp, which was really an event before the summit to prepare the entrepreneurs for their engagement uh, with corporates and investors, and we created the uh, Unconference, the VC Unconference, which was really a, a sort of a work weekend uh, between all Africa-focused investors to discuss uh, as a collective what initiatives could be done to accelerate the um, raising of capital for the entire African tech community so we could have more money to invest in the founders. So that sort of machinery and equation has proved to work increasingly better over the year. And in fact, you know, if you think about it, it's really a Pan-African brand and there are not that many Pan-African brands in a tech uh, ecosystem. So, you know, you, you don't identify Africa as just an event, but just as uh, an entire uh, group of elements that contributes to the acceleration of the ecosystem. So, in 2020, obviously, we hit a massive challenge. 80% uh, of our revenue disappeared. Most, most of the corporate sponsorship uh, vanished in a space of weeks. So, we effectively had to uh, show resilience and show uh, imagination because we effectively had to reinvent ourselves completely both on the sales side you know we had to fund ourselves differently and on the uh, offering side we had to digitalize it because suddenly uh, a lot of people couldn't travel anymore we couldn't travel on the Africa in a tour we couldn't take the startups to New York to Paris to Tokyo like we were doing the previous year so we've had to completely digitalize the tour experience through a, a series of digital events uh, and we also uh, were thinking, what are we going to propose um, people for the end of the year um, summit and, 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 and from then what happens? Because, you know, who knows what's going to happen in 2021? And that's where we came up with the idea of, of creating a curated community uh, on a digital platform to continue to do what we do with mobile phones, with desktops. So we've just launched a week ago the Africa and our wired um, product and service. So African, African Ride is really a curated community of founders, investors, corporates, which are the initial DNA of Africa Arena. We can do everything they could do on the Africa Arena events, but through a digital product. So we have the Africa Arena Wired app available on iOS and Android, which you can download and you can effectively follow the events live. So you have a live section, it's like a TV experience. You can also do everything uh, on replay on your own time, which is what people want to do. They don't necessarily want to stick eight hours behind a computer being a keyboard maniacs. They want to take a break and watch one video here, a podcast there, follow an event, and share into the knowledge. Maybe at two in the morning, they want to connect with an investor in their ecosystem or an entrepreneur in another ecosystem. And uh, you know that, that has led really to the formula of 2020, which is hybrid. So we are really the first event in Africa doing a full hybrid experience. So we're doing an in-person event. We are here in Cape Town uh, in November in this beautiful setting. We've just had two days of boot camp, a weekend of investor and conference, and the first day of the summit. And it's really a great success. And that's an in-person event. And we had hundreds of people following us all over the world, from San Francisco to Paris and Tokyo and wherever else, through the Africa Arena Wild app or on our Africa Arena Air experience. And so it has been a different um, uh, way of, of getting to, to connect with people, which has been a greater reach. Quite frankly, our brain has continued to develop, our reach has continued to develop. Uh, but at the end of the day, the magic is really I think that's what we're feeling today is 
the, the sense of getting back together and this sense of togetherness, and whether it's here at the summit or at the end conference working together, we, we are humans, we need the connection, we need the touch, we need to, to see each other, to, to, to be with each other. And the trust is very different when you're engaging with a human being in a, in a conversation when you are in a, in a real world than if you are in a Zoom or type of virtual context. And the one can lead to the other, but they are, they are very different type of experience. And I think, you know, we've, we've basically, I think, found a relatively good formula between all of that. So we're quite happy with, with where we are right now. And um, I think we're ready for 2021.